Bring your garden home with gardens. G'day everyone and welcome to Gurtons. As an avid gardener, I always love to include fruits and berries into my garden. And there are, of course, many different varieties and a few that you may not even be aware that you can grow right here in Minnesota. Everybody may be familiar with strawberries and raspberries for growing in their gardens, and they are great additions. Two of my favorite varieties of raspberries are Autumn Bliss, which is a red one, and also Fall Gold, that is a yellow type raspberry, very, very sweet. And you can see these guys are just starting to flower right now. And for strawberries, you can't pass Fort Laramie. It's a great variety. Blueberries are one of my favorite summertime fruits, but they are a little bit trickier to grow. So firstly, you want to start off with two different varieties. They do suffer from some inbreeding, so grab two or three different varieties. Once you've picked out your two or three different varieties, the second trick is soil. When we're talking about soil, you need to take a test to see where your pH is at, and blueberries need to be in that four to five range, which is rather acidic. And really, our soils in Minnesota are not very acidic. So how do you change that to get your soils to four to five? Well, it's easy. You use soil sulfur, just like this. And you're gonna to wanna to mix this into your soil before planting blueberries. Now, grapes are a wonderful addition to the garden as well. They make a great ornamental on a trellis or a pergola, but of course, you can also get some lovely fruit. And they're relatively easy to grow. What you want to make sure you do is add some superphosphate to your soil. They do like that extra little kick of phosphate, and that's really the only special keys to growing them. Apart from, they'll always set more fruit than the bush can actually handle. So what I'll do is make some pruning, some selective pruning, and only keep maybe a half a dozen clusters or so for really good fruit production. We're not only going to selectively prune the fruit, but we also want to ensure that we have one main strong leader. So this bush is fairly even, so I'm going to choose this one as my leader, and I'm actually going to prune back some of these secondary vines and make some nice clean cuts with my pruners. Now, a couple of great varieties our Edelweiss, which is a wonderful white table grape. It was developed by the University of Minnesota and is actually quite sweet. It also makes a great jelly. If you're looking for a dark red grape, Frontenac, also developed by the University of Minnesota, makes wonderful wine. Yes, you can make wine too right here in Minnesota. And one last thing on small fruits, you can also plant cherry trees right here in our soils. And you can see, look at that little cherry just beginning to grow. And you also want to make sure you have two varieties of cherries, great for making cherry pie. All of these plants are available, of course, in our small fruits section right here at Gurtons. Thanks for watching our tips. We'll see you soon.